Hello and welcome to this week's video. Today we're going to take a look at how to read in a text file that is in CSV format. That's comma separated value format. Now we're going to start off with the file name statement right here. It's got a parameter which I called visa1 and this is the file ref parameter. It's bas basically a name for the file that you want to read in which is right here. So this is the path and file name. And it's in quotes. Then you've got the data step and you've got a data statement and it's got one parameter here which is the name of the data set that's going to store the data. I've got a format statement here and it's got an asterisk at the front and that means I've commented out this statement so it won't actually run. I'm going to get back to it a little later and explain why we'll need this uh, later on in the video. Next we've got the infile statement and it's got a parameter and it happens to be visa1 same as up here and that's because the infile statement wants to know the name of the file ref that you want the file that you want to read in and you can reference that file using the file ref then it's got this other parameter and it's called delimiter and I've got here that del the delimiter is equal to a comma and the delimiter is what you're telling the program, you're telling SAS what separates one variable from another. So let's, if, let's look at the data first. I got to refresh that. Uh, okay. If we look at the data, we've got th two commas here to separate three values in total. You've got one value here which is MC, another value here which is the card number, and another value here which is the balance on the card. The, these card numbers are completely uh, made up by just randomly picked uh, numbers. So anyways you've got three lines so there's if you read this file in properly, you're going to have three records and you're also going to have three columns. You're going to have one column for the card type, another column for the card number, and another column for the balance. And this is represented in the input statement. So as I mentioned, you've got a card type there's going to be three characters, there's a card number, there's 16 characters or digits, and there's a balance, and there's six digits in there, which includes a decimal point actually, includes the uh, decimals that I have there. Now you notice that card type has a dollar sign, the other ones don't. So the dollar sign is there to tell SAS that this variable is going to be a character. When there's no dollar sign, then you're telling SAS that this variable is not going to be a character, it's going to be numeric. So in SAS, uh, you know, compared to other languages, it's very simple. You only have a, a numeric character uh, type data type or you have a character data type. M many other languages have many more uh, data types than that. So and then finally you've got the period. So the period that's just the syntax of SAS after you finish specifying whether it's character, after you specify the length, just put a period afterwards 
and that's the syntax uh, in SAS. So let's run the code and see if it reads in the file properly. Okay, so as you can see, it's got card type, it's got a card number, and it's got balance. So it's got three columns, which is what we expected. It's got three rows, which is also what we expected. But the card number has this E15 at the end. If you know a bit of math, you know that this is scientific notation. And it's, it's generally not the way we want to see the data. So what, at, at least with a card number. With a, so what we can do is we can, we want to tell SAS that we want to see all 16 digits. So we use this format statement. So I'm going to take this asterisk out so that it's not a comment anymore. And it's going to be an actual statement that will get executed. So here I am, this line, uh, telling SAS to format the card number to 16 digits. So let's run the code. And as you can see, card number now, you can see all 16 digits. And it's got the three rows and three columns as expected in the original data. Now I'm going to also talk about one other option. There's many options you can put on in this in file statement but uh, I'll just talk about one more at the moment. And this is the OBS option. And with the OBS option, you can tell it to read in a certain number of observations. So sometimes you just want to read the first observation because you just want to make sure you, you're reading in the data correctly. So if we put OBS equals 1, we should only read in one record. So let's run the code. And there you have it. You've only got one record. So that's it for this video. This is how you can read in a comma separated value file. If you like the video, feel free to click the like button. And if you've got any comments, feel free to post any comments as well. And I'll try and answer them as soon as possible. Hope you like the video and have a great day.